Hey everybody, Dr. Allie Marty, physical therapist and president with Mobile Physical Therapy. I've had many patients ask me, how can I do online exercise for my arthritis? Or I don't think that's gonna work for me. I don't really know what all that entails. So I wanted to answer that question, give you guys a little insight on how you can do online exercise. You don't necessarily need to be in person with somebody to start feeling better. So in general, if you've never had a session with me, the first session is usually a fair amount of talking, understanding what your goals are, what your current activity level is, what kinds of things you wanna get back to, and overall just where we're starting from. So we do some talking about what kind of activity you already do, what kind of activity you like to do. Do you like to walk? Do you like to run? Do you not like to do any of it, but you know you have to? Um, and then talking about what your goals are for where you wanna to get to. Do you wanna be able to walk or run a 5K, a 10K, half marathon? Do you just wanna be able to walk to the mailbox? Um, do you wanna get off of a walker or you know, stop using a scooter when you go out to the grocery store? Things like that. So we get that kind of idea. Take some baseline measurements of different things. So that's the next part. Getting into a little bit of the evaluation and assessment see overall how your joints are moving. So let's see how your ankles move, how your knees move, how your hip moves, hips move, how your back moves, how your arms move, how your neck moves, and then how all of them move together. How strong are you? How weak are you? So those kinds of things we don't need to be in person for. So to check to see how well your ankles, knees, and hips are moving, you wanna make sure that the video camera or webcam on your laptop, tablet, or computer are pointing at those body parts. And what I end up doing, whether I'm in person or online, is I have you do different motions. I have you pump your ankles, I have you pump your knees, I have you move your hips. You can do these laying down, sitting, and standing. And I usually have you do a, a few motions in each position. Then I do the same thing for your back. I see how well it twists. See how well it bends forward and backward and sideways. Do the same thing for your neck, forward, backward, sideways, twisting. Same thing for your arms. How high can they go up? How far out to the side can they go? Can you touch behind your head? Can you touch behind your back? So I end up using a lot of my words to describe what I want you to do. And I also demonstrate it. So we're both on camera. We both have audio. You can see me, I can see you. I can see exactly what your arms are doing. So I'll give a little demonstration in, in, in just a minute here of some different motions, but you'll be able to see, can I do that motion right? Or does it need to be changed? And so when, when we get into the exercise portion, you're doing it on camera. So I'm watching you do the motions and I can make corrections right there. I've had clients where we're doing a leg exercise where you lay down and lift your leg up and down. I can see if your knee is bent. I can see if your foot's not in the right position. I can see how far up you're lifting your leg. It, it's really, it, it's wonderful with the visual and audio capabilities that we have now. The quality is so good that it's practically like I'm there. And I am an exercise-based therapist anyway. I'm mostly teaching people how to alleviate their pain with exercise and with movements because even if, even if I was there in person, I'm not there all of the time. I wanna teach you ways that you can help, help yourself in the moment when it's happening. So I don't wanna do a lot of hands-on technique all the time because my hands aren't there with you all of the time. If there are things that we need hands-on maybe moving the muscles and massaging out the muscles, I might tell you, go get a massage. Or maybe your family member can come in during the session and we can, I can teach them how to do certain motions to help stretch you or get you in better position, or they can watch you right then and there too. And then another benefit of having the video capabilities is we can record it. 
So then you always have a video of you yourself doing the exercise or me doing the exercise if we find that that's a better fit for you to watch somebody else do it. But then you can reference back to it every time you go to do your exercises each week. So that's just a little insight into how doing these online sessions work. It's really easy. It doesn't take any special technology, just the webcam and microphone that are usually already built into your tablets, desktop computers, or laptop computers. The only thing that you really need is just enough space to move around. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have more questions about how to do an online program with someone like me or someone else, write me a comment or send me a DM and I'll, I'll answer it for you.